What up, everybody? Brandon J. Double Twenty Three back again, another YouTube video. Sorry, I did not post a new video today. Well, technically, well, yeah, yesterday really, since today is now Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. I was actually going to post a new video. It's about. It's actually what, what I was talking about from, from yesterday, the Obama Carol. And the hell. This right here, I'm going to show you something. This right here, this is what I'm going to talk about right, 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 right now. Okay? Real quick. Now, apparently, it's all cool and all right to be gay, bisexual, transgender, so forth and so forth, right? By the way, I'm in the lunchroom, so yeah. It's not really. I mean, why do you think America is getting broke? Why do you think oh, a lot of crap is happening in America? You want to know why? You want to know what's the real truth is going on? The truth is the people of America. <laughs> That's right, us. We pushing Christians like myself out of the picture, saying we don't need God. Saying, oh, we could do stuff my own way. We don't need God to reveal or help us reveal. Back in the old time, uh, dang, what was the city? Um, I had a name in my head. But God, I mean, the same stuff happened then, happening now. Back in Jerusalem, I mean, back in Israel, I mean, same stuff. God had actually had to take his hand off of his homeland because of the sin. We in sin. I mean, seriously. We got we, we, we got this behind me. This is my ground. We got lesbians, gays, transgenders, the uh, 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 drag queens, the heck? But we pushing Christians out. But you saying we want God. How you want God and you pushing God out? You saying you hate you, you you hate Christians. That's not to me that's that's not saying you want God. To me you saying, Oh well, I don't want Jesus Christ. I don't want to be a Christian. I wanna be a Muslim. I wanna be a Buddhist. I wanna be this, I wanna be that. But not yourself, not what God put you to be. Barack Obama, he he's in office. Yes, I know what I said yesterday. Well, now Saturday, I may say. Well, I mean Monday, but I'm talking about Saturday. Well, I was talking. You understand? Anyway, what I was talking about when I say Barack Obama is in office and this is his country. Yes, that's true. But same exact time. God put him in office to make America realize. Ever since 9-11, everybody going completely crazy, go completely hand, go completely mad. And the only thing they want is money, power, and sin. We lusting in the in the land. We are sinning to the point of no of no return. All of the countries around us is getting stronger while we getting weaker. People in, the, people in the military that's Christians getting judged, getting crucified, not crucified, but getting judged and, and, and actually getting restricted and removed from our our rights. The same sex marriages is our height now, they say. I'm not believing that. Same sex marriages, same sex, same sex marriages is wrong. People. Wake up, listen, understand. We're going into the Antichrist era. We have the chance to repent, turn back from our evil ways, and live through God. Put God back on this land before it's too late. Because when it's too late, it's game over. It's the end game. It's the end game. 
I am serious. It's just game over after that. Without God, without protection, what he said in the Bible is going to come true. It's end game. We're going to die. Soon. All because of people like you, Americans, that's not with God, that's bisexual, that's an Arab, a Muslim, I, I worshiping a idol God. Yeah, I know I'm going to make a lot of people mad, but I'm not talking about people outside of America. I'm just talking about people in America, because we the one who are in our own selves. The Bumble Carol? That's gonna happen. We're gonna get hurt. We're gonna get hit hard. Harder than anything else. We, as a people, that have paid a lot of lot of money just to keep our insurance. I don't like my insurance. I like to keep my free insurance. I don't know about y'all. I mean, y'all can go and pay for insurance. If you have an own company, I can solve for you. <laughs> like Hobby Lobby, for example. Hobby Lobby is one of the most Christianized companies in the country. They got paid a thousand, no, a million bucks every day. They try to close churches, the church, down. They're trying to do everything, knock everything out because of the government, because we the people hurt ourselves, destroying our land. The no the no tear uh what was it? the don't ask no uh don't ask don't tear rule gone. Gays is in the military. Pushing Christians like myself out. Hurting us. People saying, oh, I hate Christians. I don't want Christians. I wish all Christians die. I want to kill a Christian. Well, you want to kill a Christian? You want all Christians to die? Come for me then. Come for me. I'm not going to stand here and just let y'all take Christians away. I'm not going to stand here and let people like you, whoever's watching, to say, oh, you wrong? Oh, you just a nigga in, in, with a phone, YouTubing uh, your videos? I'm not gonna stand here and just just watch and waiting and having death threats come towards me because I'm I'm a black I'm a black intelligent young man, not ignorant like other people. So, got one or two options. One, follow your senior. The day you die, follow the Antichrist. Get the mark of 666 in your forehead, or your hand, or your palm, or your back of your hand, your wrist, your neck. Go ahead and get all them tattoos, piercings, and all that muck. Go ahead and continue sleeping with that same woman or the same male that treat you wrong, that beat you, that slap you, that hurt you. Go ahead and stay with your bisexual spirit, your lusting and lesbian spirit. It gets to the point that now people in the church is hurting. Lesbians. Hidden lesbians in the church. It got to that point now. And that is so, so sad gay man in a church hiding in a closet because they don't want to show off they are not gay but they show but no come back around they show on they don't want to be gay but they gay in hiding in the closet the flip oh man and no I do not have no gay agendas transgender is your choice it's an evil spirit that y'all need to break Y'all can take this truth and it can set you free. Or you could just deny the truth, continue going through your life, continue going through your sins, and you're trying to figure out, why is this happening to me? 
Why is this happening to me? This is what's happening to you because of your spirit, because of your lust. Get away from that. Turn away from that. You say you hate Christians? I'm a Christian. You want to hurt someone? You want to kill Christians? Come for me. I know one thing. God got my back no matter how you look at it. I'm not going to go down with no fight. Jesus Christ is my Savior. It's really sad. Especially, especially how that anything that happened with a gay or lesbian, Barack Obama was picking up the phone, congratulating them or talking to them. When it comes to a Christian, where your phone calls and answers then, Mr. Barack Obama. Yeah, I know in the last video I was talking about Barack in a good way. Now, it's a bad way. It's the flip side. Does God actually put him in office to hurt us? Hey, this is the last days on earth. Be careful what you do what you say because in the end of time we all going to bow down and we all going to kneel to the true God Jesus Christ not the anti-Christ not the anti-Jesus no anti-Jesus don't have I mean the Jesus Christ I mean don't have one eye when the anti-Christ come if, I, if I'm still alive I'm going to fight him I'm going to take him down Y'all think I'm crazy. Y'all think I'm going insane. I'm not insane. I'm not crazy. This is the truth. Like I said, you can take it or you can leave it. Right there on the table. Yeah, I know. I wear the same gun shirt, too. Like I said, you can take it or you can leave it. It's your choice. Me, I'm taking my choice. I'm staying with God. I'm staying with Jesus. And by the way, this one is... Yeah, y'all think I'm hating? I'm not hating. This? Get that. That's sin right there. That's sin. And watch. Two more gonna be right there. Like just like Walmart. You store one, five, two, three thousand is come back in its place. Same thing because number sin. I'm getting rid of all this evil stuff, all this sin up in here, up in the states, in my city. People that's heroes like myself, y'all do the same exact thing. Y'all go ahead and stand up. You're a true Christian, stand up. Take back what's yours through Jesus Christ. Save yourself. If not that, if you don't save yourself, if you don't stand up, if you don't go ahead and go forward, you lose yourself. And then you have to force either stay with Jesus Christ and believe you are, uh, uh, believe you as a Christian as the Antichrist come and die right there on the spot or give up your religion join the Satanist Buddha, Ada, Muslim, Arab, Hindu, what are all the fake gods and suffer your wrath through the true of the true God. I can put you in heaven or hell. I'm giving you the word so you can uh, choose your own choice. Brian J. W. 23 signing out. Hopefully, this truth will set you free. If not that, I'm sorry. May God be with y'all. May God be blessed. Well, uh, I meant to say, may God be with y'all and y'all be blessed. Like, rate, well, I mean, you know what? Even better. Rate, comment, subscribe, like my video, like my videos, like my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channels, come to my Facebook, we could talk, Twitter, we could talk, Google Plus, we could talk, freaking Hangouts, we could talk. Will you start some riff raff, start some stuff in here? I'm not listening, I'm, I'm turning deaf on y'all. Brandon JW23 signing out.
May God be blessed. I mean, God, may God be with y'all. I'm going to say, be blessed.